how and how good afternoon and welcome back to the channel it's nick at nova adventures so this video today is going to be of how i made my own window box if you have one of these you will know that the space in these rear windows is quite vast so anyway going back on to how i made it i used 12 mil ply and I found a template doesn't quite fit perfectly as you know again if you've got one of these you know there's not a straight line anywhere um, and then I, I made it painted it black and um, what I did then is by here I screwed into the trim hole or retainer and then I made a li little leg to come out here and also screwed into there as you can see there's a little bit of movement in it but nothing too much so in this unit then we have our power bank 12 volt outlet and a usb outlet two there we also have a voltage meter and then this one here is our led light controller for these lights that are running across here and set that's running down that uh, we have another light switch there for two reading lights which can move be pointed anywhere you want them to be pointed we have another battery monitor our docio solar charge controller unit and then to the back then, another WSB port. But this one is Q, QC3, quick charge, and it's a three USB, uh, USB port. Okay, so that's how we made it. And if you want to know the, the, where we screwed that screw into, I pan round. That's it on the opposite side, still in place that one there and then there is one behind seat belt and again that one on the opposite side is just down there look just there okay so that's that so we made two doors on this with a central shelf Is the bottom compartment and I'll tell you about that rail in a minute and then there's a shelf there and it is a quite a big space that wouldn't be used otherwise and as you can see I've got my electrics there and some electrics in the corner there Okay, back to tell you now how we've made this sit in that space. As you can see here, not painted, don't know why. We've got a, I think it's a 21 by 21 mil button with an L-shaped bracket there. And then you'll see some photos in the corner just through there. And on the other side is an L-shaped bracket. And that goes back into the window pillar trim, which I will show you on the other side. And then same, if you can see just up over there, I'll take my finger away. You can see another one in there and you can see how that is hooking behind the trim. And the important part is I've still got my window blind in, which I put in before the box because some people say you can't take it out, but that one, I actually can. Right, here is the passenger side rear window. And as you can see, I haven't put a window box in there because in my opinion, if you have one there, you lose the view out of that window when you're reversing. The driver's one, you don't, unless you're uh, like an owl and you can rotate your head nearly 360 degrees, then that side 
you can see out of. Um, and I know people say if you put one across here, it's just like a panel van. Fair enough. But I, I chose not to and I made this handy little shelf. There is a video somewhere in the realms of YouTube and various Facebook um, pages to show how I did that. Not the neatest, but it's quite, uh, it does quite well that. Anyway, so going back to the window box on the other side, where that bar is, is roughly across that level there. And the L-shaped brackets fit behind there. There's a small gap there. And then on the other side, there is a small gap there. And that stops the window box coming forward. And as you can see, I put um, a metal chain, which you can undo and have the whole box open or the whole door open at that point. Similarly, up the top there, I've got a chain. And if I wanted to push that down like that. So as you can see, there's a fair bit of space in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you exactly how much stuff I put in there and you can see what I mean. Right then. What's behind the large cupboard door? There we are guys. We've got our sauces and our hot chocolate sachets there. We've got the incredibly large self-explanatory mug and we've got our cutlery set. There's normally a pint glass behind that. And we've got our salt and pepper and our chili garlic stuff right in the back there. So that is the lower one. And what's in the smaller one above? Let's have a look then, shall we? There we are, it's our electronics. So in there we've got the fridge, mains adapter there. We've got our cable box with all our cables and batteries and whatnot in there. We've got a thermometer external and internal one back there we've got uh, some emergency supplies of paracetamol and some painkillers and then we normally have a head torch sitting there and then the old say old the really useful beanie led hat sits on top of like that there we are so as you can see that is a good amount of space that would otherwise be wasted so i'm going to go um Go a couple of miles away from home now just for an hour or so and uh, have a nice cup of coffee and a little snack and uh, that is the great thing about our micro campers we can just get up and go and come back when we want so if you've got any questions um just put it in the comment section below or um if this is on the facebook group just uh put a message in the um post and um also like subscribe and share the videos and uh, hit that notification bell for the next video